Hello, I'm Frankie and welcome to my channel. I'm a trained actress, singer and dancer who has an obsessive love for travel, food and all things fitness. One of my favourite things about travelling is trying the local cuisine and the local drinks. Beer and wine are my favourite, but I do enjoy the occasional schnapps too. I've actually become a bit of a gin connoisseur. It's amazing how many gins there are in the world now. I've always loved musical theatre and I've wanted to perform since I was a toddler. So I was incredibly lucky that I got to train at Italia Conti, the UK's oldest drama school. I graduated this year, 2021. Although, thanks to Covid, this year hasn't been great for graduates. However, Covid isn't all bad, as it has encouraged me to start this YouTube channel, which serves as a great creative outlet. I'm learning new skills, including how to film on camera instead of using my mobile phone, and also how to edit, which is actually really difficult and quite time consuming. Whether you're into travel or food or music, I hope there's a little something for everyone in Frankie's world. See you soon! Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Sorry I've not been very active recently. Um, since I got to Germany, it's been like a massive stress of trying to rehearse and get four shows down. But finally, we're all done, and I've performed all of my shows now, at least once. So, that means I don't have to stress and panic about rehearsals anymore, because I actually already know what I'm doing. So, I'm really looking forward to exploring a bit more, and bringing you along with me. But, here is a little bit that I have filmed around rehearsals and getting here as well. So I hope you enjoy it and starting from next week my videos are going to be fun and regular again and we're going to be seeing some exciting things. So I hope you're as excited as I am. So guys, I've made it onto the ferry. Thankfully I had all my paperwork that I needed so that's all good. I wasn't stopped and told no to the Netherlands, so that's always good. Hopefully, I'll get through the border once we get to the Netherlands. Um, now I'm in my little room. So, um, here we have my little cabin. Got some hangers, a ladder. Oh, the ladder must be four if you have the bunk bed. Um, phone, television. Got a couch, of course, the bed, that'll be nice and cosy. I can put some pajamas on. So, if there was two of you, you'd use that bed as well. Obviously, I won't be needing the second bed. Good old mirror, yep. And then the all important bit oh, the new the seats up. We even have a shower, so I didn't have time to wash my hair this morning, so I can do that at some point on the trip, so it's good. And it just means I can be comfortable in my own space, but I'm going to go have a look up on deck I think soon, and I'll see you then.
it's now 20 to 2 European time. Um, so we've got another three and a half hours left. I always like going to the back of the ship because it makes me feel like I'm in Titanic and I'm just waiting for my Jack to show up. Although, no Jack has shown up so far. <laughs> now, it's surprisingly warm out here. I haven't got a coat on, I've only got my jumper on. It's really lovely actually. The sun is hitting me perfectly to keep me warm. There's just a little breeze which makes it quite soothing. A little bit misty. Hi everyone. So I am now in Germany. I'm all nicely sorted in my where I'm living. Um, so I've got a nice room, I've got all enough space to like work out in my room. There's also a gym not far away, so I might just sign up for that. I'm trying to, so I'm in rehearsals all day today, all day tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday. So it's quite a lot of work to do because our first show is on Thursday. So we'll be travelling slightly further north for the first show. And yeah, so I'm going to try and get little snippets of rehearsals today and maybe I'll put those in the video. Hello guys, so cool blimey, today's been a bit of a crazy one. I wanted to go, well I went to Crayfield hoping to get some nice footage for you, but when I got there it was kind of like a ghost town. I mean lots of the buildings are really in very, well not in good states. So there wasn't really anything interesting to take videos of. There is a museum that I want to go to, but 
Kaiser Wilhelm Museum, but that was shut, so I'm going to go when it's open. <laughs> and yeah, so that was a bit unfortunate. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to go to Munch and Gladback because there's a really good schnelli that sells rotisserie chicken and gyros. And like my mum used to go there all the time when she lived in JHQ in Munch and Gladback, which was the English base. When I got there, <laughs> they've stopped selling chicken, so I couldn't get chicken, so I got gyros instead. And then <laughs> they wrapped it all up, and I hadn't realised. Um, I hadn't asked to take it out, I had wanted to eat him. And then they basically like chucked me out the door. Um, so now I'm going to eat gyros in my car. Yes, so it's not been quite the day I was expecting. But hopefully the food will be good, so that's all that matters. <laughs> so this is the food, looks quite nice. Got onions, uh, sauerkraut, gyros and chips. Um, unfortunately, by the time I tried to order the mayonnaise, they'd already wrapped it up, so they didn't really... <sighs> but anyway, so hopefully it'll be good. So, unfortunately, the imbis that I went to in Munch and Gladback yesterday was... As of, it's obviously been taken over by someone else, and the standard of food was just not what it should have been, what it was. So that's really sad, so that means I need to find another imbis near me, which means I need to go try food, which will be exciting. I've got another show, I've got two shows tomorrow, and then I'm going into Dusseldorf. So I'm looking forward to, to getting some footage, and that should be really interesting, and I'm really excited to go there and show you everything. So, I'm going to leave this here now, and I will see you soon. Bye!